Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, including a cardiac alert in play this morning. There's a new look at Mercury geology. We've had some more earthquakes, and we'll hit some worthy weather as well, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a calm, earth-facing disk as fervent rippling departs over the northwestern limb. We've had no solar flares, and this morning, we are finding a calm solar wind stream as purple, the plasma speed, drops out even more. This calm has the 24-hour KP index average around 0.25, and for reasons nobody fully understands, every space weather health study shows the same heightened cardiac risk at low KP cosmic ray surges, in addition to the strongest geomagnetic storms. This is the cause of the health advisory that went out a few hours ago through the Disaster Prediction app. We can expect this to continue for a bit, but not too long as the phi angle of the solar wind is shifting, indicating the coronal hole stream from the north will arrive soon and intensify geomagnetic conditions. Speaking of which, we've been discussing increased seismic risk until that solar wind stream arrives and we've had two more significant rumbles in the last day, one in northern Chile, the other one in California. Over to the right is the Americas portion of our seismic risk map posted yesterday. We've got an incredible look at one tiny portion of Mercury's northern hemisphere. They will do the whole planet eventually, but for now, we've got analysis of ground, craters, faults, thrusts, and the degradation of each over time, linked for you below. Top weather of the last day hit South Africa. A tornado ripped through, causing major damage to buildings and was flanked on all sides by a horrendous hailstorm that flooded streets and left people in shock over the rapid deterioration of the conditions. Top alerts today merit a peak. That low in the central U.S. is shifting north, northeast, and will bring severe weather with it tonight, complementing the frigid temperatures across the Rockies behind it. In Europe, the oceanic system is going to drive a strong convergence over the U.K. later tonight and could produce significant flooding. Lastly, the New Zealand system is moving on, but the one south of Australia will reach up all night and day and produce strong storms along the southern portions of the country. In addition to getting space weather health alerts through our app, it sends out geomagnetic and seismic notifications too. You can learn about it all in our book, available everywhere, and three of the talks at Observing the Frontier 2018 will be on the space weather health topic. I have clustered them Saturday afternoon for you there. Got the rest of the world's wind maps, null school atmospheric chemistry, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.